Syed Ahmed II ruled Crimea and surrounding lands for eight years, until the noble Crimean families, led by the Sharon family, elected a new Khan in his place, Haji Giri. After several short military skirmishes, Syed Ahmed and his allies from among the Horde nobility were defeated by Haji Giri and expelled from the Crimea. An independent Crimean Khanate arose on the peninsula, and under the rule of Said Ahmed II, only part of his former possessions remained in the steppes between the Dnieper and Don. Here Said Ahmed and his companions had to experience poverty and hunger. Haji Giri did not let them into the Crimea, but Kuchik and Muhammad did not let them into the barn. Said Ahmed's horde had to live by plundering the Ukrainian possessions of Lithuania. There were few troops left under Said Ahmed, so during his raids the Khan mounted straw mannequins and clothes on spare horses to intimidate the enemy from afar and the large size of his army. For the safety of his young state, Haji Giri more than once repelled the attacks of Syed Ahmed from the Crimean and Ukrainian borders, for which his neighbors respectfully nicknamed him the guardian of the Ukrainian lands. Finally, in 1452, Haji Giri won a decisive victory. He lies in wait for Syed Ahmed on the banks of the Dnieper and defeats him. Most of Syed Ahmed's troops recognized Haji Giri as their Khan. Fleeing from Haji Giri, Syed Ahmed with the remnants of his retinue fled to Kiev, but his companions, upon entering the city, started a massive fight with the people of Kiev. The fugitive Khan was detained and sent to the Lithuanian capital. The Grand Duke of Lithuania Casimir placed Said Ahmed in custody in the city of Kaunas. It was an honorable captivity with good conditions of detention, but Said Ahmed was never released again for the remaining 15 years of his life.